Hello, and welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on manual invoice payments and payment matching in Odoo. In this video, we'll explore how to handle situations where a customer makes a bulk payment for multiple invoices and how to register and allocate those payments manually. This is a common scenario in business operations, and Odoo offers robust tools to handle it effectively. While it's best practice to record payments directly from an invoice, there are instances where manual payment registration is required. For example, imagine a customer sends a check to settle multiple outstanding invoices at once. In such cases, we need to manually register the payment and distribute it appropriately across those invoices. Let's walk through this process step by step. To begin, open the accounting app, navigate to the customer's menu and select invoices. Apply a filter for invoices that are unpaid for the specific customer. For this example, we see our customer, Superstar, has unpaid invoices totaling $690. They've sent a bulk payment for this amount and will now register it manually. Registering the payment manually. Go to the customer's menu and then click on Payments. Click the Create button to open the payment form. When registering a manual payment in Odoo, the payment form includes several essential fields that need to be filled out accurately. Below is a detailed explanation of each field and its purpose, along with examples for better understanding. Internal transfer. This option is used to record fund transfers between your company's internal accounts, such as moving money from a checking account to a savings account. For example, you transfer $1,000 from your business checking account to a savings account. This is when you'd select internal transfer. However, since we are recording a customer payment in this scenario, do not select this option. Instead, move on to specifying the payment type. Payment type. Here, you'll indicate whether the payment is being received from a customer or sent to a supplier. Receive money. Use this option for payments coming from customers. Send money. Use this option for payments to suppliers or refunds to customers. For example, if Superstar is paying $690 toward multiple invoices, select Receive Money to show that funds are being received. Customer. Select the name of the customer making the payment. This ensures that the payment is linked to their account and can later be matched with their invoices. For example, if Superstar, your customer, has sent a bulk payment of $690 to settle outstanding invoices, select Superstar as the customer. Amount. This is the total payment amount being received. Enter the exact amount here. For example, Superstar sends a check for $690 to pay off three invoices. Invoice A, $200. Invoice B, $300. Invoice C, $190. Enter $690 as the payment amount. Date. Specify the date the payment was received. This helps ensure that accounting records are accurate and reflect the correct financial period. For example, if the payment was received on January 5th, 2025, enter January 5th, 2025 in the date field. This date will be recorded in the journal entry and will align with the transaction's financial period. Memo. This optional field is used to add references or notes about the payment. Common uses include entering invoice numbers or check details. However, remember that the memo is for documentation purposes only and does not automatically link the payment to specific invoices. For example, if Superstar's payment covers invoice A, B, and C, you can write payment for invoice A, invoice B, and invoice C. Alternatively, you can record the check number. Check number 123456. Journal. The journal determines where the payment will be recorded in your accounting system. Common choices include bank journal, when payments are deposited into a bank account, cash journal, when payments are made in cash. For example, if Superstar paid via check and the payment is deposited into your bank account, select bank journal. If they paid in cash, select cash journal. Payment method. This field identifies the method of payment used by the customer. Options include manual, Select this for cash, checks, or any payment method processed outside Odoo. Bank transfers. Use this for direct bank transfers made by the customer. For example, if Superstar pays with a check, select manual. If they transfer funds directly to your bank account, choose bank transfers. 
Customer Bank Account This optional field represents the customer's bank account from which the payment is drawn. It is primarily for documentation purposes and isn't always necessary to fill out. For example, if Superstar has a bank account with account number 12345 you can record this information here for reference. If you don't have these details or it isn't relevant, you can leave this field blank. Validating and matching payments. Once all the details are entered, click Save and click on to Confirm button. The payment is now recorded, but it needs to be matched. Click the Payment Matching Smart button. From here, you'll see the payment we just recorded listed. Click the payment entry to add it to the T-sheet. Next, click each related invoice to add them to the T-sheet. You can use the search field to narrow down what's displayed in this list. When both columns balance, click Reconcile button. Note that this button turns solid when the columns balance. If you reconcile items that don't balance, you'll need to account for the difference. This payment has HS now been applied to all selected invoices, and we can confirm this by navigating back to the invoice using the breadcrumbs. Then, click the three bar invoices smart button to see invoices associated with this payment. Here we see all of the invoices that this payment applied to. Notice the payment status shows in payment. This will update as soon as the payment is confirmed with the bank. Conclusion. You've successfully registered and matched a manual payment in Odoo. This process ensures your accounts remain accurate while allowing flexibility in handling customer payments. I hope you all have a clear understanding of the concepts covered in this video. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment below. For more support, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated on my latest releases.